A.W. Chesterton Company, world's oldest, world's finest, and leader in the manufacture of mechanical packing and rotating equipment, is pleased to present this videotape designed to provide the proper procedural steps and the necessary technical knowledge for using mechanical packings in the sealing of rotating equipment. Adherence to these steps will result in packed pumps that operate more efficiently and effectively. To properly pack a rotating pump, the following tools will help make the task easier. Appropriate wrenches. A vernier scale. Inside-outside calipers. A mirror and a flashlight. A flexible ruler. A flexible packing extractor. A tapping tool a cleaning solvent and fine emery paper, a mandrel of appropriate size, a packing knife. First, remove all the old packing rings from the stuffing box with the flexible packing extractor. Clean the stuffing box and the shaft thoroughly with the cleaning solvent. Check shaft for stability and alignment using simple measurements. For critical applications, a dial indicator should be used. Using the flashlight and mirror, examine the sleeve and shaft for wear and scoring. Smooth down any corrosion areas or rough spots with emery paper. Replace the shaft or sleeve if wear is excessive. Recheck alignment if shaft or sleeve is replaced. Check the condition of the pump further by examining the glands, bolts and nuts. The nuts should move freely and the bolts should be free of rust and corrosion. This will allow for correct and uniform adjustment of the new packing rings. The gland nose or pilot should center correctly in the stuffing box and its clearance over the shaft should not exceed 5 tenths millimeter radially. This close fit will eliminate packing extrusion. Verify that the lip on the gland is perpendicular to the shaft and in good condition. The lip should squarely contact the installed packing rings to properly transmit the gland force to the set of rings. Finally, check the clearances at bottom of stuffing box. Clearances over 5 tenths millimeter radially may require the use of an anti-extrusion ring at the bottom of the stuffing box to prevent extrusion into the pump. The pump is now ready to be repacked. The importance of packing the pump correctly cannot be overemphasized, as many packing failures can be directly attributed to incorrect installation. Determine the correct packing size for the pump. First, measure the diameter of the shaft or shaft sleeve with the outside caliper and vernier scale. Next, Determine the diameter of the stuffing box using the inside caliper. Subtract the shaft sleeve diameter from the stuffing box diameter and divide the answer by two. The result is the correct cross section size. Cut the packing rings by wrapping the packing around a mandrel of the same diameter as the pump shaft or sleeve. Hold the packing tightly on the mandrel and cut the set squarely with a single cut. Push the first cut ring firmly into the bottom of the stuffing box by wrapping it around the shaft. Butt the ring on the top of shaft at the 12 o'clock position. Push the ring into the stuffing box. Using the tapping tool as a driving force, Seat the ring firmly and squarely in the bottom of the stuffing box. Stagger the joints of each successive ring 90 degrees apart as you install each ring individually with the aid of the tapping tool. 
using a clock as a guide, the 12, 3, 6, 9 o'clock positions work best. Teflon fiber and graphite yarn packing rings should be snugged up very gently. They should be tightened gradually only after the pump is on stream. Other fiber and yarn packing rings can be seated firmly upon installation. When enough rings have been individually seated so that the lip of the gland rests snugly against the last inserted packing ring, tighten the gland finger tight to tap in the last ring. Install as many rings as space will allow and still have a minimum of three to five millimeters of gland entry into the stuffing box. Pressurize the pump prior to startup. Then turn the power on. To ensure an effective installation, the following steps should be undertaken. Allow the packing to leak freely when starting up a newly packed pump. Take up gradually on the gland as the packing seats until leakage is reduced to a tolerable level. Teflon fiber packings may expand considerably and may require gland loosening. Never stop the leakage entirely. If the stuffing box has to have a lantern ring, make sure the lantern ring will move under the inlet opening as gland pressure is applied. Successful sealing with mechanical packings is a function of several important related factors. The selection of the proper material for the specific application. Consideration of the surface speed pressure, temperature, the pH aspects of the fluid, and the good condition of the equipment. Attention to these details will result in long life, minimum wear, reduced costs, and superior leakage control. Mechanical packing is the universal and the traditional method of controlling leakage of fluids or gases from rotating and reciprocating equipment as well as valves. Chesterton, America's oldest manufacturer of mechanical packings, blends lubricants into the finest fibers. These lubricated fibers are then constructed into braided forms and calibrated to exact sizes under strict quality control. Since 1884, the A.W. Chesterton Company has been a world leader in high quality packings and service for industry.